I will show you now uh, how you handle the first steps with the new Travelizer air spring system. And the first you need to do is to remove the axle. You need a shock pump. This is a small one or a bigger one. Doesn't matter which one, every shock pump works perfect. Um, you remove the air cap, please. So next step is to attach the shock pump. And now with the attached shock pump, you can turn the lower leg. In this direction is more stroke. Like you can see the, the distance gets bigger. So we have a certain fork stroke now. And if you say, okay, this is exactly the uh, amount of stroke I want to have, uh, you can measure it with a caliper. And then the next step is to remove the shock pump. And now you can see this green small little dot, which did not came out completely. This is like it should be normally. And this is like it is at the moment. So what you need to do is you turn the lower leg in the direction you want, doesn't matter which one, and you just turn it a bit and you can watch. I'm just shaking the lower le uh, leg a bit and you can see how it comes out. Yeah, how do you handle some problems if this pin does not come out? One of the main problems is the amount of pressure in the system. So we will attach the shock pump. And right now we have 78.5 PSI, which works pretty good. If you reduce pressure to maybe 50 or whatever, some of the linearizer guys are using a lot less pressure for, um, for the air spring. And with the lower pressure, it can be a bit hard that the pin comes out. Now it's not full way out. So I will just higher the pressure, almost 100. So it's not necessary, but it can help for a new fork, new air spring, that a green pin comes out more easily. And now you can see the green pin comes out uh, full stroke, so no problem. Um, the next problem which can occur is if you are in one of the extreme positions, like minimum travel or maximum travel. I will just put it in the maximum travel. And there is a certain point, I think I reached it already now, that nothing happens anymore. And if you now un unmount the shock pump, the green pin does not come out. And also when I I'm turning the lower leg, nothing happens. What you can do now is to just turn it a bit faster. Now it comes out. That's it. The reason is simply that on the travelizer unit, if you are in the extreme position, there's some small torque on these two parts which you need to move freely again. If you are on the minimum or maximum position, just turn it a little bit faster in the opposite direction. But the best would be to turn it fast with the attached shock pump. That makes it quite easy. Yeah, that's it. Um, that's it. So have a good ride.